Kanye West, now known as Ye, said he is terminating his deal with the retailer for failing to meet obligations in the agreement, including product distribution and opening Yeezy Gap stores. Joining us now to discuss, we've got a surprise guest for you, is Ye himself. It's good to see you. Thank you for, for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So talk to us about what happened here. Why are you terminating this deal with Gap? Um, well, it was always a dream of mine to be at the Gap and to uh, bring the best product possible to the masses. And I always talk to them about doing uh, products for $20, like the best product in the world, uh, designed at the same level of the top fashion houses in the world at $20 for the people. And so we went through three years and, you know, obviously there's always like struggles and back and forth when you're trying to build something new and integrate teams. Uh, so we designed, a, um, we designed an entire collection and uh, actually uh, I wasn't able to set the actual price uh, that I wanted for this collection. And then they actually took one of the shirts and sold it for $19. So, so didn't price my stuff, priced my stuff at like 200 and mm. above their whole price point normally. And then did the exact shirt for uh, for twenty dollars. Also, they did pop ups, and uh, I signed on with them because they had uh, in the contract they said they were going to do stores, and they just ignored us about building stores constantly. And it, it 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 was very frustrating. It was very disheartening because I just put everything I had. I, I put you know all of my top relationships. I went and got Demna, the head designer of Balenciaga, which is one of the hottest brands in the world to come. He does couture. And yeah. with that relationship, he, he ended up you know, working on a Gap uh, collection for me. There are a lot of like things, colorways that I didn't approve. There's a lot of places that the product went to, certain sites where they just, it was like they were just dog, dog and pony and the idea around town. And sometimes I would talk to the guys, the heads up, the leaders, and it would just be like I was on mute or something. And they totally, our, our agenda, it wasn't aligned. And I know, you know, my family, we're, we're garmentos. You know, my, my family, we, we made the first Louis Vuitton uh, bootleg jogging suits when they used to confiscate the bags mm -hmm. at LAX. That's actually literally my family that would cut up, uh, cut up those bags and make jogging suits. We literally would make cross colors. Yeah, you, you know, this is a, because people always think of things like a celebrity. This kind of, I, I wouldn't have been so uh, influential in uh, clothing language. I like that, but I like the word language better than aesthetic. Because uh, the language is a base, aesthetic is just a, a style. It's a language that me and Virgil and Demna and Jerry Lorenzo and Matt Williams brought in streetwear in this like Mark Echoes complex uh, idea of what it is today, what what high schools look like today. And everyone knows that you know I'm the, I'm the leader, I'm the king, right? So uh, a, a king can't live in someone else's castle. A king has to make his own castle. 